Hello everybody, I am Ray19 and welcome to episode 1 of a brand new series in European River Cells 4. This is the Papal State, and technically this is not quite brand new. We have uh, played the Papal State before, but we failed miserably to get the Holy Trinity. Um, just uh, some small, th you know, a lot of small things add up into one big problem. So this time though, it's probably like my sixth or seventh time trying to get this to work. Um, I think I've got a new strategy that's going to work out that I kind of worked off in the meantime. So uh, let's hope this works out for us. Anyways, so like I said, we're the Papal State. We are a kingdom rank with Western tech with in a Catholic nation. The Papal State is a papacy, shocker, uh, with Pope Eugenius IV, a 112 uh, leader. We are tech level 3 across the board, and we have starting uh, papal traditions of diplomatic reputation plus one and religious unity plus 25 percent we do get the ideas of tolerance of the true faith plus two national tax modifier plus 20 percent glory of rome prestige decay minus one percent donation of constantine cost fabricate claims minus 25 percent centralized estates production efficiency plus 10 percent the Vatican Museum's Diplomatic Free Policies plus one. And then we get the Holy Father Aggressive Expansion Impact minus 10%. With all those, we get Papal Ambition, which is Discipline plus five. So that is pretty awesome right there. We do only start with five regions, Roma, Umbria, Ancona, Romagna, and way over here, Avignon, uh, who is kind of separated out by, by the side. Um, we have an 81 development, so we're pretty high in that, just like most Italian uh, states are. And the uh, fort levels at five. We have a truce with the Ottomans at the very beginning until 1450. And then Urbino is a vassal, allowing us to kind of connect up these territories at least. So not bad. We are playing with the Golden Century expansion enabled. And uh, we'll talk about what the Holy Trinity is here very shortly. Uh, we'll be using the Pope Man save file. There we go. So we're going for the Holy Trinity uh, achievement. The Holy Trinity achievement is to... Vassalize in Marsh, uh, the Knights, uh, the Teutonic Order, and the Livonian Order, and uh, as well as take over Jerusalem. So I'll show you those things here very shortly. Anyways, the Papacy of the Papal State, 1444. Europe in 1444 is on the verge of the Age of Discovery, yet it is reeling from the shock of the failed Crusade of Varna, as well as the threat of the Ottoman Empire in the East. The Treaty of Taurus has left Western Europe with an uneasy truce, one that looks like it could break at any time due to the ambition of the, kingdom, of the kings of France, England, or the Duke of Burgundy. In the north, the Kalmar Union remains in place, despite the deposition of its Pomeranian king by the Hanseatic League, as well as dissident... Swedish and Danish nobles. The Russian states are barely starting to feel, the, feel free of the Tartar yoke, as the Golden Horde continues to fracture, ever since its crushing defeat at the hands of the Timur. As the High Renaissance approaches, Italy and Germany remain fraught by the constant friction between the Emperor and the many autonomous princes. The entire continent is on the verge of major changes, and it'll be up to you to lead the Papal Papacy through this period. We, of course, with the Catholic faith, meaning we get tolerance of the true faith plus one, tolerance of heretics minus one. Uh, we do get some papacy things we'll talk about very shortly, but uh, we do have a little increase to colon uh, colonization if we want to go that way, which I would love to do. Uh, but that's kind of a back, that's a secondary or third uh, goal. Uh, anyways, we are the Umbrian papacy. Uh, papacies are papal theocracies, meaning we have cardinals, papal controllers, you know, pretty much the Pope, stuff like that. Instead of legitimacy, we had devotion which is right here. So, uh, you know, we just have to work with that instead. And we're playing with Europe and the Holy Roman Empire. And before I get too deep on the nation, let's just show you what the Holy Trinity requires. It requires me to vassalize uh, the Teutonic Order, the Livonia Order, and the Knights, which are really just right down here. Um, and the hard thing is, is just that all three of them tend to be attacked uh, relatively early to mid game somewhere in there they all start to disappear it is our job to basically get in there and take those nations and release them or to take them over and vassalize them before that happens uh those are no cb wars stuff like that um and i'll tell you right now the most difficult one out of all of them is it is the knights because uh once the knights are destroyed defeated whatever they don't own the same culture group uh knights are supposed to be uh Alsatian, but their culture is uh, in uh, Rhodes is Greek. 
So we're in real trouble there if they go. So we need to be keeping an eye on them. The second that the Ven Venetians leave them, we need to be looking to declare a war. All right, anyways, back to us here. There we are. So the very first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pump four units here. And I'm going to go ahead and get a leader. Oh, one, three, zero, zero. Not terrible, not great, but that's okay. Start. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Our rivals are Hungary, uh, Burgundy, and Provence. Let's see who other people have. France and Venice. That's a good start from Austria. We want to ally him for sure. Austria is working with against him. As Castile. Okay, that's that's all right. Unfortunately, Castile wants to be uh, against France. I really want Castile, Austria, and France to be allies with me, uh, but I'll settle for Castile and Austria. So I think I'm going to first start out with improving relations here. Then I'll improve relations with Austria. My next thing is, let's see, you don't have anybody, and I can... T well, no, I can't. No, I need to... If I do this here, I want to make my first one, Florence, you are going to be a rival immediately. I would then like to rival Provence. And then I will rival Aragon because I want them to release Naples at some point. With that, I can now excommunicate Florence. And why I did that is pretty simple. Um, it just immediately, it should give them negative 50 with everybody. So if I take a look here, not too many people really want to ally them early on and it should hurt them enough that or hopefully nobody will ally them yeah everybody now is like plus 25 at max within a year i can go ahead and like straight off attack so that's the other reason too um and there'll be a, they should be hopefully an easy target um i'm hoping that all works out we'll see anyways other than that um i think we're okay i think i need to go ahead and let loose a little bit Let's start moving forward. They're working with France right off the bat. The second I can declare war, I'm going to. 12th of December. Okay. If I declare war now, I need. I would like to wait. Now, the Allied Provence, that's not a bad idea. And actually, I need to wait until I get in the HRE so that Austria doesn't hurt me for this. Let's hope that they stay without any good allies for a little while. I don't really care about Provence. I mean, that's not that big a deal. I'll spend my money here. Yeah, it's probably better off to, make, to do that. We really need to hurry up and get allied with Austria. France's opinion of us change is good. I could go to war with both these guys and maybe make Provence get out from underneath France. I'm not sure if I could do that. I should. Because are they just allied? Yeah, they're just allied. Okay. Everybody keep crossing your fingers and toes because if this works, this is going to set us up for taking a lot of territory early. And uh, hopefully we can really have at it. They're working with France. That's the problem. And France is already at war with England, so hopefully they won't decide to have any more allies during this time. Who's working with me? Um, Sweden, Norway, England, Lithuania, France, Castile, and Naples are all trying to fix up their relations with us. They do not want me to excommunicate them. Which is a very good point. I wish I could excommunicate them all, though. Like, Naples, excommunicate, no longer be friends with Aragon, and it's just done. Like, we just win that. We have until, we have this excommunication for quite some time. It shouldn't take, but a, maybe a couple, you know, maybe a year or two to get Austria on our side. But if an, if an alliance happens here, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, see, this alliance here with Austria, that makes it so I can't do a thing against him until he gets in a war that he's either losing or something similar.
Yep, he has not done anything with this yet. We're waiting for this alliance. There's the alliance. Good. Good first start. Okay, there's two good alliances at the very beginning. I have to wait for how long until I can be added into the HRE? Or if I declared war, he would still jump in. Provence would help. Okay. Um, I have to wait till I get 146. Once we get 146 relations with Austria, that should change the game for us. How much are we gaining per... We're gaining like two per month. It's not a lot. I need to, uh, maybe I could pay him? Hmm. If I offer military access, that's 10 more. Just keep it up. You're at 131. The Sistine Chapel. Hmm. Now, it's not talking about who's painting it. There's a special thing that happens for painting it. That'll increase yearly devotion, too. Let's go ahead and do that. It's all right. Now, is there an economic? 12th of January, there it is. Still, everything's fine here. Maybe I could send a gift. Prove our relationship by three. That's all I could afford. I need more than three. That's only like a month's difference. Um... We might just have to wait it out, and that's unfortunate. That's giving them more time. Ourselves in Castile are practicing on... Oh, we must condemn. If I condemn them, does that do anything? Nope. Please don't get an alliance with this France. A gift from Castile. They're naive enthusiasts. Enthusi excuse me. Naive enthusiast policy gives that to us. Can I can use that again? To use... Where's economic? There it is. Send them a gift. 50 for 7. I mean, that does kind of limit my coffers. I'm going to end up hate, you know, kicking myself if I get within 7. And then, and then an alliance pops. Oh, come on. It'd be great to have a, you know, have a Pope. A new Pope pop up right now. I would very much appreciate that. 11th of November, 1448. Come on. 143. Two more months and it's done. Bribes more accepts, accepts, uh, access, uh, accepted, so corruption goes up a little by one. So far we need... We're going to watch this once it hits 146, which is at the end of July. Okay. Add. 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 And then add. This right here, declare war. They will not hop in. It'll be us and Florence versus Provence. Now Provence has more territory up here, but I'm gonna take, hopefully, use the whole starting position deal here. Hurry up and get up there, please. Shadow Kingdom talks. Now, if I wasn't in position and that's what gives them the alliance, that's going to make me really mad. Uh, let's help Salzburg out. Okay, there we go. Declare the war. Provence will join. I want to take 
Um, Arezzo. Using excommunication. Yes, help me stack wipe him. Nope, it's not going to be a stack wipe. Let's come here. Good job. Let's, uh, prestige. Pull a guy up here. Yeah, I don't need those two. If I could get through Ferrara, that would be nice. If I could cross around the side, go through Siena. It's actually a good start. I think I could afford the entire aggressive expansion, and I could definitely afford the entire, you know, early portions of the problem here. Looks like these guys, yeah, they're all going to go pop up on Avignon, which will hopefully last a long time. Hopefully longer than this. Uh, hopefully longer than this one does. They may have a siege. Yeah, they have one siege general. This guy, he has no leader. And we have no siege. We have no leader either, though, so hold on. That makes sense. Okay. Now we do have a, a uh, wall, bre uh, wall breach, so we're going to go a little bit quicker than him. Up here comes Lorraine, who must be working in cahoots with Provence. Yes, he is, so I have to go knock those guys out too. There is no way to get here. Oh god, quit. <laughs> get up there and help. Good job. Siege of Avignon is now over, but this one lasted just as long here. Okay, y'all take that from me. I am going to come up to here. Call the diplomat from Castile. Um, I'm actually going to set a diplomat working on allies and another one working on my subjects. There. Good job, allies. They're going to try to bring Latin knights in here. Let's move up. With that held, is there anybody I can knock out of this? Maybe hit Lorraine. I'm going to let him kind of stick it out down here. Yep, they're going to stay here. Let us fight them in the mountains, which is not a great choice on my part. Still one, um, but that was probably in spite of me. Recall from Austria. Okay. Yeah, if you want to join with me, you can. Okay, we're going to push on. I would love to fight these guys. Like, knock out Provence completely. Okay. Yep, 
Yes, he's locked in. He's going to attack me. We'll have some friends come in and help. That's 4.44. We'll move back on to the siege. I'm going to hold out here. We'll come in here and attack him. There you go. Need a good battle, need a good battle. There you go. Unfortunately, they're just fine with recuperating or whatever it is that they're doing. We'll watch those peasants. Um, we can get the Vatican Library Administration ed Edition. Unrest and Admin. That's good stuff right there. Okay. Uh, we'll take this spot right beside us. Let's come down here, grab him. Yep, quick, easy, war score. Hopefully I can get a quick wall breach here. You want to go run off somewhere, dude? I'm, I'm totally for that. There's more Provence's troops. Let's help out here. Wiped out some more Provence. Um, let's talk to you, Provence. I would love it if you gave me war reps, but you're not going to because I don't own your capital. Um, yeah, ending your alliance with France would be nice too. But technically you own that. Florence, you just have friends, man. If you didn't have them friends, this wouldn't be a big deal at all. Okay, we'll hit him here. Like, geez, Provence, you sure you don't want to do this? I want to go around. I'm going to have to. I mean, I'm all out of manpower. Build a force limit, trustworthy allies. Let's see if we can increase our chances here. I have a high war exhaustion, so let's buy it down. We're going to go take their capital. If this works, then we'll be in, uh, we'll be kind of doing the win. Alexander the Sixth is now the Pope. He's a 223. Provence is now technically low. They're not willing to come out of this yet, but I think once I take this, he will. We are an embezzler. That's unfortunate, though. I mean, what I want are those three. It would barely give me a coalition with some guys. I think enough of my... Uh, Yeah, you know, I could even get these guys away from the French. Uh, ten prestige or ten devotion. Let's drop the devotion. 
Lorenze has been changed over to rebel territory. Now these guys are done with that war. He's black flagged, so he's got to go all the way down here, though. Naples is excommunicated. Oh, France did it, though. I guess I have lost papal actions now. Yep, that appears to have been the case. Uh, losing 20, gain 15, lose 10. Yeah, that's probably the best one for the money right now. All right, guys, I'm going to have to end it right here. I've been going on too long. Um, and then we'll go ahead and finish it up this. Uh, we're going to come back. We'll finish up this war. All I got to really do is just take out this capital and it's done. Um, I could probably then force Provence to no longer be friends with France. And uh, that'll get Lorraine out. And then I can come hit right here as well. And once I take that. I'll be in much better shape. So, all right, guys, appreciate y'all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out a link for Discord in the description below, and I'll see you all next time.